Hello everyone, in this video we're, uh, we're going to be continuing with our little series of DCS uh, 0 to 8. And uh, we're going to be concentrating on using laser guided bombs. Now laser guided bombs really have two modes. Uh, you can drop them as regular bombs, which just makes it kind of stupid, but hey, it works. Or of course you can uh, use a laser to actually point where you'd like the bomb to land. Now that laser can come from you, it can come from a teammate, it can come from somebody on the ground. It really does not make that much of a difference as long as of course the laser that you have agrees with the weapon that you're using. Now, speaking of that, by the way, uh, when you first start up this program, you have to make sure that you have the correct laser code. In this case, my code is 1688. If you don't pick the right code for the right bomb, um, you're going to be a little disappointed when you drop them because they will not track, which is uh, kind of irritating. Our weapon of choice today, of course, is uh, somebody took a Mark 84 and they went ahead and put a huge uh, guided bomb kit on it. These are 2,000 pounds each, which gives you an idea of just your capability. One thing we want to do when we're using laser bombs, though, is we want to make sure you flip laser arm on. Master arm needs to be switched on. We're going to switch to our air to ground master mode. Now, we've done this before. We're going to launch one pair each time, which is fine. I'm not going to worry about this too much. Now, we'll do, uh, just in case, we'll spread them out just a little bit. All right, perfect. I'm going to come over here, press test twice. TGP looks good. And we're going to go ahead and sensor control mode and pop it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my second steer point, which is I'm going to go ahead and lock down there on the ground. And now we're going to be in pretty darn good shape. So I'm going to switch this over to CCRP because naturally what we want to do is we want to drop the bombs by using the computer rather than trying to basically kind of guess. Coming on down here, uh, we can see we got a pretty good sight of uh, what's going on here. I'll switch to my visual mode, zoom in a little bit. So now this time, you don't have to get a lock unless you want to know where you're dropping the bomb. But what we do need to do is we positively absolutely need to make sure what we're targeting is actually pointing at what we want to hit. I know that sounds kind of redundant, but trust me, we don't lock onto it. Another thing you're going to notice now is we have this little thing that says L that simply says laser. If we wanted to turn the laser on prematurely, you can actually push the trigger on your gun. Of all things, you don't want to push the trigger on. If you do that, it starts to flash. and It even tells you what code is currently selected for this particular purpose. Now let go, the laser stops firing. So now it's basically the exact same procedures we saw before. I'm going to go ahead and flip off these switches here. Come to my left just a little bit. Keep in mind, you actually have to worry about roll trim here. And we're just going to put our flight path vector right on the ASL, the ASL of the steering line, until we get that little warning that says, hey, go ahead and uh, drop everything. So we've got about 45 seconds to a drop. As usual, I'll make sure you press and hold. Now, one thing you're going to be remembering here is that when these weapons do drop, you have to make sure the laser is engaged. If you fire the laser too early, of course, uh, the only real damage there is burning out your laser. It's not really a problem in this program. If you push the laser too late, the bomb may have already overshot its ability to correct and drop the laser itself. Now, be glad these aren't the old school days of when it came to lasers because uh, basically you had to point them at the side of the cockpit. It was quite a pain in the butt. Uh, we have it real nice today, if you want to think about it another way. Zoom out a little bit. You can see I'm locked right in the middle of the deck there. Uh, normally when you're dropping this, uh, you're probably using your tail fuse here. The purpose of the tail fuse would be to allow you to penetrate the surface of the bridge and then explode, which would always be preferred. It would be nice and gentle. Press and hold on the weapon release key. And it's going to go thunk thunk. And off they go. So right now the laser is not firing. Uh, when you drop this weapon, I usually tell people to turn themselves in a way that the ground can be seen. In this case, we're going to take a nice gentle right turn because our pod is on the right side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and press and hold on my trigger. And you can see I'm getting that little flashing L if I were to switch to the guided bomb. See how they just want to twitch? Because now they can actually see the laser. Now it's worth noting that laser guided bombs, you can actually steer them on the way down to the ground. So if I wanted to, I could actually move my crosshair around to actually pick a different target. Like for example, I'm tracking something that's moving. I could actually go ahead and do this. Now remember we used the tail fuse, which means the bomb is going to detonate after it penetrates the deck of the bridge. At least that's how it would work in the real world. Uh, don't worry about fusing too much. Honestly, as long as you made sure you select nose tail fuse, uh, you're not gonna have too much issue. So we can see our bomb is gonna be hitting the ground in just a few moments, boom. Oh, wasted. Wow, that was, uh, <laughs> that was thorough. <laughs> I did not realize those uh, weapons were quite that effective. Take a look down here. You can see that bridge is gone. Snap that sucker right in the middle. Nice hit. So laser guided bombs are obviously fantastic until, of course, the weather interferes with your ability to deploy them. Or, you know, you don't have a reliable laser, or you don't have a targeting pod, and all those other fun things. But they're really a lot of fun to play with, and as you can see, they are effective. I'd say they're dynamite, but I believe they're actually probably TNT, or a Tritonite, or something along those lines. So hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, it's basically the same, but it doesn't matter what laser-guided weapon you're dropping, they're all going to be handling exactly the same as far as that goes. Uh, next time, of course, uh, we'll take a look at some of the weird ones, which are the GPS-guided weapons. Enjoy.